Hey guys, welcome back to GTA Magic. Today we'll talk about why GTA 4 is better than GTA 5. Let's head into it. Number 1. Police Aside from the mob, Yakuza, ballers, and other infamous gangs that have graced the GTA series, police are by far the most dangerous threats, especially in GTA 5. In the game, simply standing in front of an officer for too long can get you profiled pretty quickly. This is where GTA 4 really shines. The boy simply will usually leave you alone unless provoked, even unless you are seen. The probability of those red and blue flashing lights is low, so go ahead and indulge to your heart's content, but be prepared for a bloodhound style bounty hunt in GTA 5 and may the odds be ever in your favor. Number 2. Better Friendship Interactions One of Rockstar Games' most notorious words, which has been the leading cause of brain aneurysms for many GTA fans. However, while Roman's relentless attack is one of the most vexing aspects of GTA 4, it's strangely satisfying to hear. Friendships and relationships established with the other characters in the game last beyond a few missions here and there, which is a feature that many have grown to miss in GTA 5. GTA 4 delivers more in-depth encounters with non-linear characters such as little Jacob, Brucey, and Patty, giving the impression that the world is alive around you even outside the main storyline. Combine that with your amusing banter and very fascinating side dialogue and you have a friendly dynamic. Number 3. Euphoria When it comes to hanging out with mates, one activity in particular is nothing short of a blast. That's going to the bar with the boys and cracking open a cold one. Getting drunk in Grand Theft Auto 4 is one of the most exciting aspects of the game. Aside from being a cultural rite of passage and friendship, the consequences for your character are hilarious. No, I'm not referring to the smudge screen. In GTA 4, the euphoria machine causes you to slur your thoughts, fall over face first, get behind the wheel, and then crash into everything in sight, almost as if to remind the player that drinking and driving is dangerous. GTA 5 does have this euphoria effect, but only to a limited degree and for a much shorter period of time, making GTA 4 the game to play if you want to get lit. Number 4. Fist fights last longer. Starting fist fights with random civilians on the street is one of GTA's most enjoyable pastimes. Most gamers look forward to the moments when an NPC speaks slickly or stares at us strangely. It validates our rational request for them to catch these hands, and it feels wonderful. What makes these battles even more exciting is when you approach someone who is carrying a little more than you anticipated. NPCs in Grand Theft Auto 4 have more health and can strike back more effectively. Fighting a random lady of the night will easily escalate into a Mayweather vs. McGregor pay-per-view match. Number 5. Gunfire a friendly game of fisticuffs with a random NPC can often get out of hand. In such situations, most gamers believe that weapons are the only choice left before they become a chalk line on the pavement. The reachability of NPCs when fired is a neat function that Grand Theft Auto 4 has that its successor does not. Shooting the arm, leg, or even the stomach doesn't always result in death, and they're not fatally injured. The NPCs will get up in favor of the wound as they attempt to flee. It's a minor detail, but it's a fun addition to the game. It's mind-boggling that it was left out in Grand Theft Auto 5. Number 6. Drivers aren't out to get you. In GTA 5, even crossing the street can mean the difference between life and death. Drivers are some of the most bloodthirsty NPCs in the series, and if you're not careful, they can ruin a mission, thwart an escape, or destroy your freshly painted car from the LA Customs. Fortunately for GTA 4 players, the chaos on Liberty City streets is much less intense. Stoplights are no longer a source of regret, and open roads are no longer a strewn area of wasted past lives. Drivers are usually more polite, but may this simply be a testament to drivers on the East Coast over the West? Of course, I'm is guessing. Number 7. DLC for Single Player The Lost and Damned and The Ballad of Gay Tony are widely recognized as two of the best DLC add-ons in GTA history. The storytelling and change of pace from Liberty City's typical grungy vibe to the vibrant nightclubs and dive biker bars were simply refreshing. While GTA 5 deserves praise for a steady release of free DLC additions for online play, there have been nothing for single players. This brings us to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it, hit like if you did, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss any of our videos in the future. Also, watch the two videos that are on your screen because I'm sure you'll love them. With that, I'll see you in the next video.